Hello there everyone and welcome back to the Thousand Week Like Mod for Hearts of Iron 4. I'm your host, Mr. Mokolova. Oh, hey, I'm Mokolova. Right now, I've gone back and basically uh, restarted the campaign, but now we've finally been able to do the declaration of the Gottish Strike. Heil Hadrish. But right now, we're going to go back and I've already gotten the other focus research slot. Research tree. Research tree. Focus in the focus tree to get another research slot in which we're going to get um, fortified silos in the event of a catastrophic nuclear conflict. Our enemies will want to bring our silos out of commission with one or two well-placed atom bombs. We will shield our silos in any way possible, but as many of you guys said yesterday, uh, we lost Hadrish. So over here, this time, I re I literally re replayed the entire campaign. So now that we've got named Hans, uh, Lammers, Lammers, so... I got lucky, so we didn't lose big old daddy Heinrich here, so... But we do have options of Gotland's issues. Gotland, for all of its glory and status, has many unique issues, from politics, military, to technology. Decisions must be made for Gotland to prospect. Uh, or props pact. Gotland's matters will be handled with great efficiency and with the strongest of wills. The strongest will. Uh, annex war goal against these guys, as well as Gotland's conquest. Oh, yes, please. Our uh, greater Gotland's Reich. But I not Hadrish has declared the formation of the Greater Gottish Reich, laying claims all over the Eastern European colonies of Greater Germany, aiming to reclaim German glory by creating a new empire. With the madness and warmongering tendencies of the Gottish regime, Gotland will yet be yet another major contributor for instability in Eastern Europe. Gotland will conquer all. What do you mean instability? Only Untermensch would say that. And we're going to fight the Ukraine, which has a god awful amount of manpower and a ton of divisions, but I did tap over. And their divisions are all literally just militia, so we should do okay, especially since I made these guys 20 combo with. And actually, as you guys recommended in the comments from yesterday, the SS divisions just aren't worth it. They really aren't. They actually make you lose defense, breakthrough. They use more supply. You lose less organization, even though they're slightly better for HP and organization. But they cost 50 more guns, and we don't have anything to spare. We, well, actually, we technically do right now, but like, it, it's just not worth it. It really is just not worth using them, so it is what it is. Even though we do still have these guys over here, too. Um, actually, we should probably convert these guys to normal APCs, but we don't have the army XP for it right now. Whatever. It is what it is, but we're ready to go. And I hope to God we do okay. Uh, we already have the war goal, so might as well try to go in, right? Let's see what we can do. Because we do have options, eventually, to... What is it? Integrate them? That'd be great. Oh, God, I hope we can. So, we immediately begin. You know what would help? If I actually gave him, like, this to do... Can they pierce us? No, but it's a river crossing. Three, two, one, let's go. Or not. Okay. Uh, take the I of B to go in and support the attack. Okay, cool. And do that too. Do that. All right, well, there we go. Encircle and destroy. Division for division. We should do relatively okay. We have more than enough manpower right now to deal with everything, so. Occupation policies, though. Civilian oversight is fine enough with us. And, ooh. Yeah, we're going to need to duplicate one of these divisions to help garrison stuff. Honestly, this stuff is probably better. Maybe uh, suppression for these guys is 1.2. This is 1. Yeah, that's better overall. Well, take away that stuff. Elite divisions. Yeah, that no, is what it is. Don't leave them alive. Seriously, don't. 83 versus 10,000. 10, Holy crap. So for elites, um, we're going to remove a lot of these support equipment. Just so we can just, just suppress things. Because if we're not suppressing things, we're not having fun. We should do relatively okay. Division for division, we should do more than fine. Why don't you guys actually appear and do that and do that? There you go. Cool. Uh, missile based defense, national bunker system. Gotten like it's five land forts. Every own state gets a lot. So we want to wait to do that one. Airfield construction. I know I read these yesterday, but they're so short. As a result of the previous war's devastation, there are hardly any functioning airships within Gotten Land. We must see to this at once. If we can break over the river, that'd be great. But it looks like we're struggling quite a bit. Gila. Um, really, for you guys, I want you to do that one, like we did yesterday, and for you, I want to go Infantry Expert. 50% more attack is really nice. Good, and they're going to die. Yay! Losses, they have 24 divisions max. Well, we only have, we really don't have that many either, but whatever. We could easily get in a circle here, but let's hope not. They're doing force defense. They got to be, right? Come on, you got to go faster than this. Come on, go, 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 for the love of God. Go here. Do that. Please do not get encircled, for the love of God. Please, 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 please. Go, motorize, go. Just want to core as many things as fast as possible. Um, we've, they've up to 20 divisions max. A manpower really doesn't matter too much, but still. 
Yeah, just go in, go in, go in, go in. Spare defenses, let's grab some of this. Operational assault and such like that. Kharkov would be very good to get. Why don't you go right here? I want you to encircle these guys. Well, we overran, which is nice, but still. No, going over the river is kind of a pain in the butt, but that's alright. Oh, don't you dare. Go here first. And then encircle and destroy it. Good. Nice. Keep going, keep going. Airfield construction. Got some in the regional airport. The first step we should take in our goal as the air center of the Reich. It's the first create a small airport capable of domestic flights within Gotland itself. Nice. God, trying to do encirclements here just sucks so hard. Especially with so, few, so few divisions. Using encirclements, doing encirclements with infantry is just kind of, just kind of bonkers, man. No, go here. Go to Odessa. Let's get here first. There we go. There we go. There we go. Now that's pretty nice. And that's pretty darn nice. Go, go. No, go, Odessa. Odessa, please. Do that, and then cut them off. So go that way. Come on, go, 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 go. Nice. Oopsie. Press wrong button. Nice. There we go. Good, good, good. Ah. We've only lost 500. We've cost 77,000, which is... Uh, I'll be honest, that's pretty good. That sounds pretty good. At least to me, so. What are we building? Oh, we're out of manpower. Of course, we have a lot to, to build up and stuff, but... Uh, we need to control a lot more territories, but at this point, I don't think they can really do much against us. They have they have half our division count, so please just take everything they got, please. Bras Lutausche. Oh, that's going to be ugly to take. Or that will be good to get the VP. And did they capitulate, maybe? No, not yet. God dang it. Yeah, they did. Nice. Well, now we own all of Ukraine. Score, baby. Alright, these guys are next, which is going to be a giant pain in the tuckus. But that's alright. Alright, got to show Lufthansa. Lufthansa is the Reich's largest airline. However, no commercial plans go this far east yet. We'll sign a contract with Lufthansa's Germania office to begin operations to and within Gotland. My gosh, we need so much manpower now. We need a lot. Oh my gosh. But once we can core everything, we'll actually probably be really darn good. So it's going to take us some time. I don't think I actually want to go to war just yet until we get it all done, so. Um, get that one, because you get better base. I forgot to do some of that stuff earlier, but whatever. Um, limited exports, that might be actually really good to do. Then again, our resources are fine. They're just fine. Give us 120 days. 100 more days. They're still holding off successfully, so it's just fine with me. Because actually, who's over here? Goring. Hans. Manstein. How bad is the uh, occupation looking? You know what? How about you all hang back over here? Just come back over here so you don't lose any attrition. You don't get hit by attrition, anything like that. How many guns are we out? Oh, that's not good. We're missing 200,000 manpower, 24,000 guns. That's really bad. But, uh, yeah, a lot of the comments from yesterday said I should restart the campaign so we can get Hedrish back, which we did. Uh, someone says we should click on the Proclaim the Gatosha Reich Focus, which I literally did as well earlier. And save equipment and replace SS divisions with normal infantry, which I did. And someone also recommends I play as Benat. So I do want to play as Benat sometime. I heard they're really difficult, but we'll see. We shall definitely see. So after this one, oil stockpiles at Gotland International Airport, where their infrastructure are now in place throughout Gotland. Yet perhaps it is yet time we begin construction of our largest project yet, a large international airport capable of processing hundreds of the Reich citizens as well as those of the Fatherland's allies. Formation of the G Lufthansa. The formation of Gotische Lufthansa marks the golden age of Gottish tourism. Tourists will be flown in and out with our own airline, increasing our income by a notable margin. Enjoy a flight on Gotische Lufthansa. Yay. How strong are these guys? Because I do want to make sure that we're okay. Oh, they have like... Oh. Ooh. Oh, we'll easily take them out. Which means we need more divisions, but... We gotta get this stuff cored as fast as possible. My goodness. I'm not gonna to go to war until we get this stuff cored. So. And to get the Caucasus. Once we get core of the Ukraine, though, like, it'll be so good. And we're just gonna spam as many divisions and make as much equipment as possible. Why does Italy own this? Italy? Benito, what are you doing? Oh, Benito. Vladimir Stoichev. Stoichev. Turkey and the French 
communes over here. Oh, Guy. Molette. What's up, Guy? French nationalism, divided military. Well, that sounds pretty normal for France. Um, yeah, not too bad overall. Like, this looks good. It just doesn't look very good like this. Oh, my goodness. 53%. 59%. Oh, boy. What are we missing here? 300,000 manpower, 33,000 guns, 3,600 anti-tank, 3,000 support equipment, 1,100 artillery pieces, and 700 some motorized. Actually, let's come back over here. Oh, look at that. Nice. Um, elite divisions, go and convert yourselves. Oh, cavalry has 1.2 suppression, while light infantry requires... Uh, well, that's SS cavalry, though. Wait. So, SS cavalry gives you... A little bit more suppression. 2.2. 2.2 for SS Cavalry. Well, Normal Cavalry gives you... 2. Um, and they require 1,000 manpower and 100 guns. Why is this an infantry? 150 versus... 2.2. Slightly more... For slightly more stuff. Um... Hmm... Do we want to use horses? Do we have the infantry equipment for this? Not really, no. We're just going to use normal inf uh no, I think he's then. Instead of using these guys, remove. Uh, remove, remove. We can remove those guys. Lower our suppression, but lower the amount of things we need here as well. I don't mind. Let's remove that one as well, and that's pretty much it. That should technically save us some stuff. The Galtonland International Airport has been completed through blood and iron, or blood and toil. A massive international airport and engineering miracle in Aryan history. The Galtonland International will be capable to handle millions of tourists every year and is designed to withstand any types, any types of air traffic. Hope you enjoy your stay. Come on, 12 days left. What an airport. What an airport. So comes Panzer. Everything has been leading up to this, the next step in military design. The brightest minds of the SS and the German race as a whole have dedicated months to this. Finally, we can roll out the next generation in vehicle design. Cutting edge, futuristic tanks that operate as killing machines will change forever. Warfare will change f warfare forever. Yeah. Ah, you guys are elites. Yeah, no, that's not good. There you go. Come on. Give us those goddamn cores. Oh, do we get cores on it already? Oh my gosh, look at that manpower now. Hello there, 2.69 million. Oh, yes. Go and grab a bunch of that. Oh, I love Ukraine. I love the fertile Ukrainians. Yeah. Cool. Um, let's see. So, really, once we take out these guys over here to our east, it shouldn't be bad at all. It really shouldn't be bad. And we got to be spamming out a lot of infantry. I kind of want to line some tanks. I have these. I'm not even making those. I, I really do want tank divisions out, but these are just ugh, such garbage. SS. <sighs> we get better supplies and slightly more organization for less HP and less recovery, but the cost is less to make. There's no really no point using these things. Let's get some more army XP first, and then we'll deal with this stuff as well. It's not bad. All right, boys and girls, let's go on in. Thank you, Andre Shkuro. Do we win? Oh yeah! Holy crap! Look at that! Holy smoky fathers! Rostov! Rostov! War Actually, war bonds wouldn't be too bad. You know what? Let's do that one. We got enough PP for that. Okay, making all that good stuff. Are they still fighting over here? Uh, yeah, I think... I think is it Goring, right? Yeah, it's Goring. He's probably gonna win over there. Oh, I love it. I love winning. We gotta be careful with the Soviet Union, though. Gotta be real careful with them. And a good Oslin. I hope we go to war with them. Zunkom's Panzer. The bastion of national daddyism. Our brothers across the Reich have fallen far from grace. Scotland, however, remains pure. It's imperative to the survival of national daddyism. We project this in everyday life. We must take measures to improve Aryan military measures here. I apologize for speaking fast. I just, I'm a little excited for this campaign. Now that we can actually go to war. Oh my goodness. Please, yes. The Caucasus. Ooh. Can we go to war with anyone else? Ooh, is that... Um... I hope we can. Oh, shnikey renos. Get the heck out of there, boys and girls. Leave, leave, leave so you don't get destroyed. Um, if that's the case, I might have to use cons commands, so... Uh... Tartu, Oslin, Caucasus. Integrate Moscow. I'll be honest here, like, we have claims on them, but we can't justify on them, which I think is a massive mistake by the game devs. Just in terms for... Hadrish, so yeah, that's not really bueno, and we're still missing a lot of things, so we'll probably have to manually go to war. Um, 
Yeah, this is not bueno. It's slowly going down, but I'll see you just in a little bit when we're able to go to war with these guys, which will probably you have to use console commands, but oh well. Alright everyone, so I had to reload my game just to see if anything would happen, and it does look like we finally have got to shoot Conquest with Kalanikia and Mountain Republic. We, that wasn't here earlier, but you know what? I just reloaded the game and it worked, so good. In a few days we'll have it. Obviously our guys are looking really god-awful. Then again, we did get two more divisions, and I've gone ahead and done... Uh, disaster response teams. Though Gotham Land is relatively safe, we need to make sure we're prepared for anything, such as destruction to our infrastructure. We should create civilian response teams to help ensure urban integrity. Civic defense program. We sadly cannot expect everyone to at all times be conscripted into our ranks. We can, however, require a less formal, more civilian defense program. This would not only bolster our military numerically, but also train us for urban resistance in case of invasion and unshakable will. And remember the basics. We are Germans and Aryans. The decadence and docile lifestyle of outsiders may serve the hedonistic will, however. Gotham Land will stand apart. We must never forget who we are. Should we should war befall our little project, we must be ready to win by any means necessary. Perhaps propaganda will encourage our citizens. 30% more war support, not OP at all. Uh, now we could go down this way, but honestly, like, this is okay. We are Aryans here, so we must do the best possible thing. We don't need more, we just need to be better. The Next Generation Aircraft Initiative. It's become quite clear by now that the nature of air warfare has changed tremendously since the introduction of Jet Engine. We must see to the modernization of our air force to keep up with the times. Ah, yes. Ah, and the SS Division Prince Eugene. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. You know, we could use some more motorized and mechanized. You know what? Screw it. If we get some more uh, stuff, we'll use some IFBs if we, if we have to. And, yeah, main battle tanks are just so nice. Uh, I don't want the tank destroyers because I don't really care about them, but yeah. We definitely need more goods here. Definitely need more goods. All right. Come on. Oh. Lusub Sharib. Let's go in, see what we can do. Do they give us a lot of resistance? Just a wee bit here and there. And then El Elista. Anti-partisan. And we're also doing that too here. Really just hammering home the partisan so. Yay. Thank you. 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 Nice. Well, the resistance continues to go down, but let's go and come down here too. And see what type of uh, stuff we can cook up here. So these guys might be a little bit stronger. They have no manpower. Two to six divisions. Never mind. Let's go in. Uh, and I don't want to spend too much time here just because the resistance is still not great here. It's get definitely getting better. Don't get me wrong. But oh my goodness. It is so bad. So bad. You know what I really love about the Thousand Week Reich? It's, it's, it's a pretty fast mod. It's pretty darn fast, which I do love. So Losses. 36 versus 2,000. What's not to love? Get a Durbent? I thought that said Detroit first. Eh, they almost made it. There you go. Yay, thanks for the guns. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now we get a core stuff, maybe? Ooh, hopefully, eventually we can. Uh, oh, that's a big old USSR. Oh, that is not good. That is very much not goodness. Very much not. Um, hmm. Does make you a little worried, I suppose, you could say. Uh, why can't we core all this stuff yet? Do we need to go to war with someone else? Do we need to reload the game again? And look at the caucuses. Ooh, where is that stuff? Ah, we need to go here, too. Why can't we go to war with these guys? Um, you know what? Let's save the game. And let's load this same game save. Because that might actually let us do that, so we'll see. Uh, you know what? I never show you my loading screen, so you know what? I am also show it to you. Cool. Uh, you know, there's another loading game save. All nations want peace, but they want a peace that suits them, says Admiral Sir John Fisher. Can't disagree. Octung something there. Hey, nice, nice symbol. Nice symbol. Cool. Did that reload it? Yeah, that's so weird. Yeah, it does reload it. It doesn't make any sense. Why does it do that? Yeah, well, the Soviets breathing down our necks. We gotta come over here, guys. Uh, don't worry about that stuff. Yeah, come on back. Uh, 69% oh, is so bad. Holy crap. 54% is looking pretty good, though. Uh, what does this look like? Minus 17,000? Is that all? <laughs> is that all? Oh, God. We should st still do relatively okay against these guys, right? We I want to go in as fast and as hard as possible just because we got to get this stuff port ASAP. So, unshakable will followed up with Next Generation Aircraft Initiative. Maybe just move in to Tbilisi. You should be okay. Anything down here yet? No, that sucks. Oh, these guys are literally almost dead. But they're gone. Thank you, Georgia. Cool. Yeah, I don't know why we have to reload the save. I mean, it doesn't make any sense why we have to do that just to get this stuff done, but whatever. We're almost there. And they're looking really bad as well. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Ah! Uh, you guys might want to help out too. And you might want to take the capital. 
And you might want to attack it in mounts, which is really bad, but whatever. That's interesting, huh? Let's go, 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 boys and girls! Oh, got the Shikonquest, look at that. I would be a piece. Oh, Armenia. Oh, we can take out Armenians. Ah, you, you know you have a good time when you take out Armenians, right? Oh, they actually... Did. Oh, hello! Wait, who is that? The USSR is actually helping them out. That is such BS. There you go. Kill off that tank division. You deserve a lose, you piece of garbage. There you go. Thank you. Hey, and we're going to get a lot of that fuel. Even though we had 50 fuel as well, so... Please tell me we can core this. Okay, integrate them. Yes, for the love of God, please. And since we're here, Armenians don't need to exist right now, so... Oh, God, I hope we can get more enough equipment. Five. Four. Three. Two. We can't go to war with them, God dang it. Why not? Oh, because we have to wait. One. Just go in. Just all the way, boys. All the way. And then high-performance missions. The rest of the Reich sees this as a forefront of aviation innovation. And in order to maintain this level of prestige, we can only demand the absolute best out of our brave pilots. Yes. Happy 1936, everyone. Or... 56, not 36, 56. Go, 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 that division's been completely encircled. And, oh, 12,000 rifles, there's nothing to laugh at. Nice. Alright, what's next? Hopefully get some more stuff we can conquer, because this is looking, oh, well, hmm. I think we're out of things to conquer right now. Oh, that's not good. Come back home. Oh, we got enough guns, though. William Nolan, who the heck is Nolan? A new leader of the free world. Who the heck are you? A conservative Republican? Who the heck is... Hmm. Oh, look at that. Nice. Oh, you have anything for us here? No? Well, that sucks. Um, no. What are we missing here besides guns? Support equipment and motorized. That's it? That's not too bad, actually. I right, do that, then. We need way more support equipment. We're down to one, then. Get some more support equipment for that. Get some more motorized. We're actually doing okay-ish on planes-ish. Go and duplicate yourselves in train. And do we have any cast? No, not really. As long as it, the USSR is not going to war with us, because we just get steamrolled. So, that would suck. Now, the USSR, are they fighting these guys at the same time? No. If they would be, that'd be really good. Doesn't look like they're fighting them, though. Oh, Zukov. Oh, my gosh. That's impossible to fight. Oh, my gosh. So, we just kind of have to wait for the core of this stuff. So, in the meantime... Gatusha Helicopter Corps. Ever since the introduction of the helicopter into the aviation world, the Gatusha High Command has been most almost obsessive in its fascination with the novel aircraft. Perhaps we should fund a special branch of the Air Force designed for helicopters. Not a bad idea. Followed up with fighters and bombers. Many prominent air chiefs have argued that bombers assisted by fighters is the most effective method of providing ground support while also maintaining <clears throat> aerial supremacy. The Air Force must be must incorporate them at once. Yes. Okay, so now we're looking not too bad on equipment. Look at that. Anti-tank, anti-air. I'm um, just going to take some time. I'm trying to build more civvies, too, which is... Eh, it's okay. Uh, oh, you know what? Do we have anything spare here? Main battle tanks are not bad. Really, the infantry is going to have to help hold the line the most. That's really the, the main group here. I don't think we can give them anything else that would be really good. Signal companies would be nice to throw on. But I'm also looking at, like, these guys. Ooh. You all. Four. Honestly, we spent so much... Army XP on these guys. Four and then some. Honestly, we, we just convert this to military police and you'll be, you'll be okay. There you go. Now switch them around again. If I knew that, I wouldn't have wasted all that army XP, but whatever. <coughs> just core this stuff. Please core all this stuff. Because then we're going to make a lot of divisions. Because then we can take out the Soviet Union and then take out the Germans. They're still fighting their war. Jesus Christ, Germany. You call yourself Aryans, but you just can't even com complete a civil war. Look at Marija the first. Whoa. They're very ideologically divided. Wutin Putin autocrats, fascists, and Marxist Leninists. Wow, what a odd group to work together. Or not work together. Flight of the Valkyries? Commercial use of helicopters, yes. Perhaps we can actually make money out of, our, out of our new helicopters. As the tourism board suggests, many would-be tourists would be willing to pay a lot of Reichsmarks to fly over our gorgeous skies at beaches. We should take advantage of this. Absolutely. Please, hurry up with the coring. Oh, do we core this off? Well, that's a core state now. 
We did get a few more factories, which is pretty darn nice, but we're still in war. How are we... Are you sure we cored this? We only have 66 factories, and this is supposed to... Well, not everything's cored, I guess, but still. Let's see. I can see this area not being cored, like Armenia. That would make literally no sense. But, like, how do we... This cannot be all the cores we have. This just cannot be. We got plenty of guns, though, which is nice. Artillery's looking really bad. I don't want to lower the amount of guns we're making just because we need them for the future still, but, you know. I'll get some more APCs, get some more stuff here. We're kind of screwed then right now. Um, There you go. I guess. Go and train if you want to. Would it be possible for us to take out Romania? I kind of doubt it. But that would give us more territory to work with. Uh, fighters and bombers. Commercial use of helicopters would be very nice. <coughs> Having them, making them 40 combat wouldn't be a bad idea either, actually, right now, too. Alright, let's see. Flight of the Valkyries. The Valkyries are an almost mythical role in Germanic spiritualism, and the Führers use their symbolism to bring the German peoples closer to their past. Just as the Luftwaffe used Nordic spirits to immortalize the great fighters, the greatest fighters, the Gottesha Ammon will fly alongside these angels of death, and these symbols of the Aryan exceptionalism. So that's all stuff is done, which is nice. Get some more arty. Yeah, getting better arty is probably good. I just want divisions to help hold the line against the Russians, because we're going to have to be fighting the Russians eventually. People's Republic of these guys? I... Ooh. I want to go to war with them. Democratic takeover of Greece. I, I think they're done with content, so I think I, I really want to go to war with them too. If we just hold the line against them, we should do okay, right? And again, we could go to war with these guys too, but fighting Iran is going to be a really bad idea. Really bad. Three, okay, we can probably do that. Okay then. I forgot. Did they have any focus right here? Hold on. Not quite yet. That we got this one. Uh, let's take a look. No, they don't. So, they actually might be possible. And if I have to use console commands, so be I don't care. I really do not care. If we get them as a puppet or something, give us some time to get some more allies or something, I'm that's totally fine with me. Like, eventually, you, you gotta use console commands. Sometimes. The Black Sea Helicopter Tour. Ooh. Well, the latest experimental helicopters imported directly from the black market got them that will organize Black Sea Helicopter Tours for tourists to enjoy. Though there are concerns about the reliability and usefulness of such a new technology for civilian use, this will surely be a good attraction to our tourism industry, and it will be a great investment for the economy as a whole. Helicopters, fascinating. I wonder if it's possible to draw people from the helicopters. That might be needed someday. You know what, screw it. We're going to reload the game again, just in case we we're supposed to get more war goals against somebody, which I kind of doubt we will, especially since... Eh, nice picture. Um... The Baltic states are taken out already, so. Cool. Yeah, I don't think that would have reloaded anything, but it was worth trying, I guess. Armies are training, nice. Let's grab some of this too. More organization would be good. And I know this is gaming, we're not supposed to do this, but we're just going to use cons commands. Uh, yes. Because why not? Just go in. I'm, I'm not even going to annex them, I just want to puppet them. Give us something to do while we're waiting to build ourselves up. So, it is what it is. APCs, APCs, artillery, and tank destroyers, but... Hmm. I do want to make our guys 40 combo with, but as you can tell, we don't really have the, the means for it. God, I want tanks. I want better tanks. IFVs are okay. This slows us down, so I'm not sure why we would have that. Oh, these are just APCs. These aren't even SS APCs. IFVs. Do we have any tanks at all? We have a few. Org is still very high. <coughs> it does give you more org, so just do that one. That's fine. And then that's all we got for that group, which is fine. Now we definitely need more tanks. Holy crap. Helicopter accidents. Oh, no. Our latest commercial helicopters are suffering from technical issues. Malfunctions have been commonplace, while a crash that killed the two pilots and two tourists in the Black Sea is proven to be the final straw. The Gotosha Tourism Bureau has ceased all helicopter tours and issued an apology to the tourists. Oh, well. Improved aircraft workshops. Our current workshops and hangars for mass-producing aircraft is currently incredibly inefficient, and many aircraft are being recalled due to various performance issues. We must overhaul our factories at once. Which is fine with us, because we do probably want to make those things a little better. Well, whatever. I literally just want to puppet them. I'm not even going to annex them. 
You know what, since we're down here... Oh, the Greater Syrian State. Huh. No manpower. Ten divisions. I mean, maybe? We do have enough guns. Maybe we will just straight up annex them. I mean, we're not any faction. Um, there you go. Oil stockpiles. The coming years will be tough. Many conflicts to come and more to endure. For this, we need a modern army. Ooh, look at that. A modern army hungers for oil. We shall nourish it plentifully. Oh, return... Hmm. There, you can have that, and we're going to take it back from you? Yeah, I think I still want to, um, just pop it down. <coughs> so we get to make their own army, we don't have to deal with the garrisons and such. I don't know, hmm. I mean, that would look better overall. There's not that many factories down here anyways, so... We have enough guns for it. Not enough support equipment for it, though, so... There you go. Oh, maybe we have... Oh, well, I guess we can't pop it down then. Oh, well. Yeah, look how many divisions we're going to need to fight against these guys. Look at that. That's ridiculous. Yeah, it's a bit extreme. Oh, well, we need some more support equipment now. Kind of sucks. Way more artillery. War propaganda. Well, we're kind of okay. This kind of sucks, I'll be honest. Straight up, we're going to be honest about that. I don't want to lower this, but we can lower it by two more, maybe. Support weapons is fine. Grab some of that too. More soft attack is super good. And we can't do that one yet. So oil stockpiles, right? Yeah. And they'll do missile based defense. And boom. Some missile based defense. Every cell is to be heavily fortified from nuclear blasts, and every other military installation must have contingency plans to either intercept incoming missiles or to shield themselves from missiles by any means necessary. Um, why is it 1970? It's so far away, man. Oh, actually, that's that's too far away as well. Do that one. Uh, how, how long is that? Ah, we're sticking with it. Screw it. We're sticking with it. We ain't quitters here. So basically, what we're going to do, I'm going to go to war with the Soviet Union, so that's way we don't have to fight them. Oh, wait. Oh, they're already fighting each other. Oh, I didn't realize that. We might want to go to war with them now. We have enough guns for it. Artillery, definitely not, but still. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. How strong are you guys? Because these guys are generally not that strong. Oh, that's really bad. They don't. Their divisions are just not very good. And we need to get what three more. Give them five seconds, and we're gonna go in. This doesn't make any sense. No, but this is a thousand week, right? And I just don't feel that. What we, we could? No, I don't know. This wouldn't make any sense, anyways. We're gonna go straight on in. All right, let's do it, boys and girls. We took out Iran. Time to take out the USSR as well. Who is that? Oh, yeah. And if this goes poorly, well, then I will have to do some funky stuff off screen. Let's go in, boys and girls. Are they caught in their allies? Oh, hello. Hello. Well, we found some of them here. Oh, yeah. Sure, guys. Yeah, I'll take some stuff. Totally. This might have been a bad idea. It might have been a really bad idea. This was a really bad idea. Did we just lose division? No, we have not yet. But that should help these guys out quite a bit. Yeah, that's fine. Do we actually encircle these guys? That's not too bad, actually. Oil stockpile, followed up with this one. Missile based uh, defenses. Every own state, not bad. Nice. Hey, we actually deleted a division. Not bad. Oh, this is so bad. But this should give these other guys some time to, uh, the other Russians to do well against these guys. Because division per division, I mean, we're, we we can beat them 1v1. They just have so many more compared to us. Yeah, maybe this was a bad idea. Maybe I should have waited a little bit longer first. So, I think what we're going to do is, uh, we'll do that one and then we'll do Totenhand. Nah. Oh, we can't do any of this stuff yet. Oh, we need ICBMs. Oh, we can do a lot of that stuff. So, uh, yeah. Let's do intercontinental range, because we'll research that off screen. Our enemies are not limited to within Europe. There are many nations halfway across the planet that would like to see our erasure from existence. We must improve our missile system to strike anywhere on the globe to counteract this threat. So it's going to take a little bit longer for us to do well against those guys. But hey, if you enjoyed the video, regardless, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and let me know, what should our intelligence agency name be called? But regardless, thanks for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for... Bye-bye.